carry on leadership in your client process and somebody else takes over leadership, what's happening there is that they're actually hijacking your leadership and you will do things that you don't want to do. You're going to get paid less. You're going to turn around and do things for free. You're going to have an unsatisfied client at the end of the day. Because the, the second rule of leadership, if you will, uh, our first rule of leadership is everybody wants to be led by somebody with a higher level of leadership than themselves. Now you think about it. You meet all kinds of people every day. And there's certain people that you will listen to and certain people that you don't naturally listen to. Why is that? And it's got nothing to do with the clothes that they wear. It's got nothing to do with who they are as people. It's how they use their leadership. So you can, I, I could walk in here, I know I can do this, I could walk in here in a pair of Bermuda shorts and a t-shirt and I could conduct this seminar and you would still listen to me. Why? Because I have certain things I do in leadership that establish me as, establishes me as leader. Now, would you test me? Absolutely you'd look at me funny. You would test me. And if you didn't, that wouldn't be normal. If I'm standing here, you know, you know not looking the part, not playing the part, you're going to test me. And then from there, I have to establish leadership. So how do we do that with our clients? I'm going to give you a couple simple rules. Number one, first thing about leadership you've got to know is the person asking the question is the leader. So if you're asking the question, you're in control. If the client turns around and starts taking over the question asking process, you need to turn around and ask the questions back. And this is harder than it sounds. So questions determine leadership. And you will be tested from time to time, and when you are tested, you better be prepared for the test. You're laughing. Heather's laughing. Do your clients test you? Test your knowledge? Uh, oh, all the time. All the time. But you also started out today in asking questions. That's yeah. what I was wondering. Yeah, questions. Asking the questions. So how hard are questions? Not that hard. Uh, there are a specific style of question that you would need to ask, and it's called open-ended. Open-ended questions have no answer that ends with yes or no. Okay? So when you're asking an open-ended question, it's something along the line with, hey, how you doing today? With a little bit more depth, right? What would you do today if you could actually, you know, have your day the way you wanted it? Well, oh, I'd be like, not here. <laughs> I'd be on the beach. <laughs> yeah, what would you do on the beach? <laughs> Water skiing, of course. You see what happens? It changes the way things work. So you got to know that leadership tools are very, very simple. You want to maintain leadership by actually taking them through the process. If you have a process, you are now a leader. If you have questions that are open-ended, you are now leading. When somebody turns to you and goes, no, this is what I want, boom, 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 they're just wanting to be in control, and that's okay. And then you say, that's fantastic, I can understand, you want this, 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 and this, that's perfect. However, in my process, that won't work. What we need to do is this, 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 and this, because if we do it your way, Mr. and Mrs. Client, what you're going to find is you will be extremely dissatisfied with what happens. And here's why. Because in my experience, this is what takes place. And then they go, oh, okay. So you, you have your choice. I can do it your way, but I won't be held responsible for how grumpy you get afterwards. Or we can do it my way, and this is what's going to happen. It's going to take a little bit longer, or, but at least it'll be done right. You'll be able to sleep at night knowing you, t you did it right. Okay, does that make sense? You give the client choices, emotional choices, and now you've got leadership really wrapped up.